Hello everybody, Clint Seely here. Today I would like to uh, show you a, a quick video tutorial highlighting the Bernina V6 um, software's wreathing tool. I'm of course going to also show you some really cool tools using the Art Canvas, which is um, that engine is, as you know, Corel Draw Engine. So here we go, let's start the program. And we're going to, of course, uh, start with a new document. Just hover over the little blank piece of paper, click New. <clears throat> now in the digitizing software on the embroidery canvas, they do have some shaping tools. You do have uh, the circle oval tool and you have the rectangle tool. I re personally, I really like to design shapes and start off making shapes in the art canvas. So we'll go there. So let's move to the art canvas. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going <coughs> to draw a, a basic polygon tool or a polygon shape using the polygon tool. I'm going to edit some of the nodes to make some really smooth uh, edges. And then we're going to digitize uh, that shape and use the wreathing tool. The wreathing tool, super cool, you'll see. Okay, so here we go. Click the flyout menu and we're going to select the polygon tool, which is this one here. Let's just draw a polygon. Doesn't really matter the size so much. Mine's going to be about four and a half inches by four inches. I'm going to change the nodes on this or the points to, uh, let's just do eight. And now we have eight sides to this polygon. I want to switch to the node selection tool, which is this one here. Then I'm going to hold the control key down, click the node, and I'm going to see as you drag it out and you drag it in, it changes the size of the shape. We're going to make more of a star like this. Let that guy go. Let's color it. Maybe make it a pink. And there's an outline on it. We're going to get rid of that outline by right clicking here. And as you can see, as we zoom in, there's no outline. That's just a selection line. If we did have an outline, it would see the yellow. Take the outline off. There we go. So here we go. We have our polygon, which looks like a star. Now, I don't really like, uh, when I'm doing things like this, I don't like all these straight lines. These points and these straight lines, they're not always so easy to digitize. They don't always look really all that great. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, edit some of these nodes. My node here is selected. This is the cool thing about the polygon tool. I'm going to turn that line into a curve. When you're using the polygon tool to create shapes, as you see here, as I grab this handle to edit this node, it uniformly edits all the, all the nodes around the shape. So as I make one change here, it does it everywhere. So the entire thing's uniform. I don't have to go in and manually edit each node. So we're going to do this line here. So I'm going to click on this node and we're going to turn that one to a curve. And I'll grab the handle here. Okay. This doesn't have to be perfect. If you're trying to follow along, don't worry about perfection. Okay. We just want something that looks cool. Okay. Now that's taking shape. That's looking pretty cool. Now as you zoom in, you see how how much of a V we have here? I want to turn this more into a, a rounded corner so it digitizes, it embroiders out nice and smooth. So I'll, I'll re-click on this node. And this tool here, we have a make node sym symmetrical, or you can make the node smooth. They both kind of do the same thing, but let's just go ahead and make it symmetrical. See how that's turned it into a nice curvy line. Nice. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a little advanced here. Instead of um, digitizing this shape as is, I'm going to cut a little hole out of the middle. We're going to use the, let's see, let's use the ellipse tool. And I'm just going to draw a circle. Now to make sure that these are both centered correctly, I'm going to select the first shape, the polygon shape, hit P on the keyboard. And as you know, that centers it in the document. Select my circle that I just drew, hit P, and now everything's centered and, and lined up. 
I'm going to color my circle yellow, disable the outline, back into my object manager here. And you can see now I've got two shapes. I have an ellipse and I have a polygon. What I want to do is I'm going to lasso or I'm going to select just using the selection tool and drawing this dotted line like this. That'll get both, as you see here, both elements are selected. I'm going to then use one of my shaping tools. I believe I'll use the trim. Okay, that's the intersect. Let's see, that's the simplify. That's the trim. Use the trim tool. And that should cut out a hole, as you can see here, when I move the yellow circle. That'll cut a hole right out of the middle. And this is just background. There's no shape here. I'm just going to delete the ellipse. Our, our curve here, or our polygon that we started off with, is selected. So I'm now just going to auto-digitize. Let's convert to embroidery. Oop, hit backspace. It was supposed to be selected. Let's make sure it's selected. Convert to embroidery. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> and now we have a nice, neat shape. This might not be exactly the shape that you would digitize, but you get the idea. Now we're going to do some things with the shape to make it look nice. These are some things uh, that you might do. I'm going to go ahead and resize it a little bit so it's a little more manageable. Then I'm going to zoom in on this guy. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an outline, a nice satin stitch outline around the outside of this shape using the outline design tool. Click on that. Okay, offset zero, off, off outline count one, and we want the satin stitch. Boom, there we go. Now in this particular case, I want, I want my outline and I want my design to be the same color. So I'm going to make sure that I have my outline selected, change that color so it matches up. The other thing that I want to do is I'm, I'm, later I'm going to link these two together. I'm going to group these two elements, but for now, I don't want all of this fill stitch here. So I'm gonna right click on the properties and we're gonna do a few things to give you more of like a, uh, a design that would, be, that would look good on a, like a quilt block, okay? So let's change our step pattern to 12, hit apply. Then let's do the stitch spacing at a 2.0, hit apply. And you'll notice this start to change as this starts to take effect. Then we're going to go to the effects and go to like the star and wave fill. Let's select our wave fill and hit apply and see what we, yeah, this is starting to take effect here. Let's go to underlay and make sure we turn our underlay off. Hit the apply and here we go. We got some stuff working now. And then I want to make sure where is it at on on the others tab that we travel along the edges you'll see how this changes the design now now we have a more we have a cleaner design a more uniform look let's make sure what else do what else are we missing anything here um, you know this looks pretty good so let's hit okay now you have a design starting to take effect that looks pretty good now as you know you can spend a lot more time and I encourage you to, to go around and experiment with all of those different properties. But for now, that's good. I want a design in the middle here, kind of like uh, maybe a, it's a flower. So we're going to go ahead and draw a circle. Select your circle tool. Let's just draw a little circle. Maybe like so. Hit our enter button. And I'm going to make this guy yellow. Let's make him yellow. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in. Let's just place that shape right in the middle there. You might have to stretch it a little bit. Actually, let's make it a little bit smaller because I'm going to put a satin stitch around this too. It doesn't have to line up perfect for my demonstration here, but you get the idea. So we'll zoom back out, and our, our new circle shape is selected. Let's outline that one too. Hit OK. There. It's, it's blue. This clashes. So let's go ahead and make this. I think if we make this pink too, that would look good. Oop. Make sure it's selected. And change the color on that. Oh, that's looking pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Now, 
let's get into the really what I was wanting to show you. We've created our own shape in the art in the art canvas, and we've done some things to this shape to make it very unique in your own. But now let's group everything together. We'll click here, shift click the bottom one, and that selects all of your elements. We want to make sure we group everything together. As you can see here, this is the group button. And you can see now in your color film, everything is grouped together. Now what I want to do is I want to go down here to your wreathing tool. See this? This is a really, really cool tool. Watch. Click that guy. <laughs> it's going to lay six more designs. It's going to basically duplicate this design six times or however many wreathing elements you decide to select. I like the six here for this particular design. And as we move the cursor in and out and left and right, it's going to set this thing up. Out a little bit, over a little bit, and left click. It, it'll work for a second. Look at there. Now you've used the wreathing tool to take a design, a shape that you've turned into a design, and everything's nice and uniform. We could then copy and paste another one in the middle here, or you could put a monogram in here, another design, whatever. Now everything's selected and you're seeing it's not fitting in the hoop. Now this is a large oval hoop. If you wanted it to fit in the large oval, we'll just click here and drag the size of this design down little more and as we're dragging it down that's going to get it inside the hoop yeah see there you go it's getting there isn't that cool well thank you for watching my uh, tutorial you can go to my website uh, for more information for more video tutorials and links to some of my other websites that's about.me forward slash Clint Seeley. Thank you for watching.